This is the Clan Centaur, a mythical pedal based on a mythical creature. The first pedal, to my knowledge at least, to have a gooped circuit board to either hide or protect the parts used to distort an audio signal. And this is the Pink Bunny from Affected Effects, also a mythical pedal based on a mythical creature. The first pedal, and I'm 100% sure about this, to have a 3D printed Pink Bunny inside of it to either hide or protect the circuit board. Actually, Jonathan from Affected Effects has listed up some reasons to why he made that, uh, so I will talk about that a bit later. It is a fuss and I have two versions. One is called the Silicon Sunshine and the other one is called Germanium Moonbeam and they sound like this. In addition to the pink bunny inside and the unique looks, it also has a couple of other rather special features. A precision fuzz control with 10 turns of increased intensity. So it's not like most other pedals where you turn the knob one turn to go from zero to full, but yeah, you turn quite a few times. I'll come back to this knob a bit more later. It is made with NOS parts and the best way to describe the sound is that it's thick, juicy, sonically rich with a slightly gated character. It sounds even more gated when you turn down the volume on your guitar or pick lightly. <laughs> And why the bunny potting form inside the pedal? This is what I've seen Jonathan talk about on their reverb page. The epoxy potting material provides a thermal stability for components as it acts as a heatsink for every component. That makes sense, especially for the germanium version of this pedal. The 3D bunny filament is a shield from exterior heat sources. All electronic components have a self-resonance, which is stabilized when damped in an epoxy form. Non-resonating electronic components have a more focused sonic performance. That would be really interesting to put to a test, but I can't argue against it. Knowing all the benefits aforementioned, I thought let's have some fun and make the potting form inspire pink bunny smiles. I agree, <laughs> it's a really fun idea. And last, piracy, and that is very understandable. You can't uh, patent a circuit, so it makes sense that some builders do this to protect the product that they have spent a lot of time designing. I'm pretty sure that Bill Finnegan, the guy who makes the Clown Center, never admitted to gooping the circuit for this reason. He said he did it to protect the circuit from harm, but I'm also pretty sure that it did it for the same reasons as with the bunny. <laughs> What I really like about this pedal is first and foremost the sound. The older that I get, the more I love fuzz pedals and I really appreciate the different characters in different fuzz pedals. I use them more and more for recording and this is among the easiest pedals that I have tracked with. It's so well balanced. I don't really miss more controls on the pedal even though that was something that I suspected 
that I would miss. I haven't decided if I prefer the silicon or the germanium version yet, but I think I might lean towards the germanium one. I also really like the concept of the whole thing, even though it's the sound and usability that really matters. I guess it's maybe because we see so many guitar pedals these days. So it's refreshing to see a one knob pink fuzz where you have to turn the knob 10 times to turn it up. It's fun, it's weird, it's quirky, and I like it. thing that I'm not too sure about is the 10 turns knob. It is indeed good for precision when that is needed, but it's hard to relocate a setting if you lose it, since you can turn it several times around and there are no numbers for reference. I found that I like the pedal best when I have it maxed out, so it's not a huge issue for me, but if you don't put it on max, um, it can be hard to keep that position or to find back to it if it's lost, yeah. And here is a song that I made using both these pedals. Thank you for watching the video. There will be links down below to the pedals if you are interested. Goodbye.